Soros Network defends progressive prosecutor who lied on Crook's behalf. Now, this is crazy. I mean, prosecutors, they are paid to prosecute, not defend criminals. That's why crim That's why people have defense lawyers to defend them, not the prosecutor. This is crazy. It makes no sense. But if you know, or if you looked at any of the stuff that I ever put out about George Soros, you have an understanding of what they're trying to do. They're trying to destabilize this country. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my merch store. All right, let's talk about this news. A network of progressive prosecutors bo boosted by the left-wing billionaire George Soros is rushing to defend a Virginia prosecutor who lied to reduce a career criminal's prison sentence. The Soros-funded group slammed Circuit Court Judge James Plowman for removing Lauder County Commonwealth's Attorney General Buddha uh, Bairaj, or however Bairaj, or however you pronounce it, um, from a robbery case. Plowman took the unprecedented step of throwing the progressive prosecutor and her team off the case after discovering she had withheld information about a 19-year-old burglar's criminal record in order to, quote, sell a lenient prison sentence. Um, in an amicus brief, the Virginia Supreme Court Fair and Just Prosecution said the judge trampled on the prosecutorial discretion of uh, by by Raj, whom voters elected to reverse the course of mass incarceration, and I'm gonna take it back. This is that's not why people people didn't wasn't aware that uh, that uh, Buddha was a what was a George Soros prosecutor because now they know they don't want this individual in office. It's, it's people don't want these George Soros attorney generals because every time they come into these to these cities and to these counties, crime immediately goes up. Uh, the missive is the latest instance in which fair and just prosecution has waved off attacks of its left-wing prosecutors. Bob Raj in 2020 signed on to defend Arlington County's Commonwealth Attorney, uh, Parisha uh, Degani Taffy, these people in their names, what's crazy? After a circuit uh, judge demanded to submit um, written justification for the charging, dismissing or settling the case of Bybrage last December, also joined dozens of progressive prosecutors to support Los Angeles County District Attorney George Garçon, who is facing a recall and a lawsuit from his deputies over his radical citizen policies. Garçon and uh, Degati Taffy Tafty return and return the favor and this month signed on to Barbaraj appeal. And, you know, cause they're all for Soros and, and so they all got to stick together to try to destroy the country. That's what they, that's what they're doing. Soros has donated more than 40 million since 2014 to help elect liberal prosecutors who have moved to lighten bail and sentencing guidelines in half of America's largest jurisdictions. But voters are turning on progressive prosecutors as crime rates skyrocket across the country. Bybraj, who ran with nearly a million dollars of aid from Soros, has come under fire for her handling of child endangerment and domestic abuse cases, freeing offenders who are a danger to the public. Her, uh, prosecu her prosecutorial approach has uh, generated a recall effort. And, and all over the country, these George Soros prosecutors are, are are getting recalled and getting the boot. Kevin Enrique Valley, Valley was initially charged in Loudoun in May 2021 with two felony burglary, burglaries, a crime that carries a minimum five-year prison sentence in Virginia. And I went over this before, but just as a refresher, um, he had been arrested the same month for 10 other burglaries. Given the charges and his past convictions as a minor, Valley could have faced decades in prison. I mean, he's a habitual offender, but those charges were not written up and Valley uh, entered into a plea agreement with uh, Bob Raj's office, 
which sentenced him to just six months in prison. Plowman called the plea deal and quote, an overt misrepresentation by omission. They knew what they were doing. They want these people back on the streets. In its um, amicus brief, fair and just prosecution painted Plowman court order as political retaliation since he had formally held Bob Raj's office as Commonwealth Attorney in Loudoun County. Virginia Attorney General Jason uh, Myers said in a letter that the Loudoun County Court, quote, has rightfully lost confidence in Miss Bob Raj, her deputies, and her office ability and willingness to effectively seek justice in this matter. Bob Raj responded by telling uh, Myers to stay in your lane. <laughs> Just ridiculous. And I don't know what's going on with Loudoun County. I wouldn't. I would not want to live in Loudoun County with all these leftist policies, these leftist prosecutors. Crime is going up, and and they're letting these criminals out of prison. It makes no sense. But that's what's happening there. In addition to campaign support, Soros has thrown tens of millions of dollars at justice reform groups that provide professional development to progressive prosecutors. The Tide Center of Criminal Justice Reform Group since 2016 has received more than $30 million from Soros Open uh, Society Foundation, funneling its donations to third-party entities like Fair and Justice Prosecution. Uh, By Raj has participated in three Fair and Justice Prosecution-sponsored trips since her election. She joined uh, um, Degani Tafty and Fairfax County Commonwealth Attorney Steve Descano at the group's annual convention in Durham, North Carolina, shortly after the three progressive Virginia prosecutors won their elections in 2019. One year later, she traveled with the group to New York City along with Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krashner. Many of the same prosecutors, including recent recall San Francisco District Attorney uh, Chessa Bowden, attended a symposium months later in Los Angeles, though uh, Bob Raj was not present. This May, she attended a fair and, and just um, prosecution junket in Washington, D.C. Now, Virginians for Safe Communities told the Washington Free Beacon um, it is, quote, fast approaching the signature threshold to trigger a recall election for Bob Raj. Quote, we expect to file with the court by Labor Day and put Buddha Barbara um, on trial for her negligence, misuse of office, and incompetence in her duties, said uh, Sean Kennedy, the group's president. Buddha Bob Barbara has uh, alienated everyone in Loudoun County, including law enforcement, uh, Democrat Democratic Party officials, and even her own staff. So she has to rely on her Soros-funded travel buddies to defend her. So she alienated everybody, even the Democrats. I mean, no one likes crime. It don't matter if you're left or right. But um, some of these leftists, the leftists are the ones that's pushing this George Soros stuff. But most people, most Democrats that live in these cities don't want this high crime. But a lot, again, it's the George Soros types that's pushing this stuff. Top Democrats in Loudoun County have signaled they are ready to to back prosecutor, to back a prosecutor other than Barbara Draw in the next election, whether through a recall or during the next Commonwealth attorney election in 2023, um, the Free Breaking reported in June. So even her own people want her out. So I will see what happens with this recall. You know, I'll keep an eye on this. But let me know what you think. Leave comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.